today is all about adorable woodland creatures and murdering them with an AK-47. And the best part is we don't just have to use an AK-47, there's all sorts of guns we can use. You kill enough of them, they drop a chest with some treasure in it. Now we have a katana. And then we move on to the next room and do it all again. I don't know if I want to get this close to enemies with a sword, considering they all have guns that do that. But this just looks like a duck, and uh, ducks are obviously very weak to katanas. I like the look of that gun better than a katana, so we're going to go ahead and take that. And I don't know what any of those symbols mean, so we're going to go for a triangle. This gun I know I'm going to like. The weapons so far have been only green quality. I think blue comes after that, and I don't know what's after that, but we're going to find out. We're going to try this start because I'm pretty sure that means power up. And using guns against adorable woodland creatures is easy and all, but we want a little more damage. Here's my choices. Increase your speed. Hurts, but it increases your health by one and you obtain one shield. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make the zombie meat because that sounds like kind of fun to eat. Once we eat that, yeah, we lost a health, but we have a power that regenerates health plus we have a shield spot. Also, the guns that we pick up on the ground, they do run out of ammo, so then you have to pick up a new one. So we need to be careful about uh, conserving ammo, which is going to be hard to do because we're fighting a giant raccoon. But we can go back to our uh, original AK-47. Pretty sure that never runs out of ammo. Oh, we found another pew pewer anyway. But eventually we will run into a boss fight and we're going to need stronger guns to make that go easier. For now, we're mostly just going to slowly walk around their very predictable gunfire and then murder them in cold blood. And for our trouble, we got a single cookie. This time, we're probably going to want a bag. Uh, turns out it's just a shop. I already have that and I can't afford anything else. The magazine probably gives me extra ammo. We're just going to go ahead and destroy a shop and then be on our way. So the triangles are the money. We need to remember that. I was wondering why we're getting so many triangles, but now it makes sense. I've only got 240 bullets with my pew pure, so we're going to use the AK for a bit. But it's got some nice range on it, so I can sit way over here and just kill that moron, and he basically just lets it happen. I don't know who's, like, rewarding me for murdering the woodland creatures, but I support it. And I got another baby axolotl. I think I take care of these. I farm them. They grow up and then they give me stuff. Should probably re remember to use my power as soon as it's recharged too. That's going to start putting my health back and then recharging again. The, actually, the power just reset now, so it's a perfect time to use it, I think. Yep, there's one health back and it's recharging again. Wow. Okay, we're bringing out the big gun. I think I got away with a free hit there, but I did also put myself into a stupid spot. Gotta remember I can roll. And before you know it, everyone's dead. And it looks like we're fighting the boss next. A tactic gun? I... nope. I need more bullets. I'm not here to strategize, I'm here to shoot things. Luckily we have this gun, so its health should drop pretty quickly. And it's gonna shoot red balls at me, they're pretty easy to avoid. Wow, we're really taking his health down already, this feels good. He's turned himself into a serving dish. Okay, good, he's passed out. Perfect time to attack. I don't know what's happening. Oh, he dropped more guns. Okay, I'm gonna take another one of these, I'm pretty sure I just restocked my ammo. And now he's got a knife. Okay, that, that did restock my ammo, so we're just going to try and unload on him as best we can. Uh, we did get our power back, so we can use... Okay, got it. I see how it works now. They bounce. So we're going to try our best to avoid those, obviously. But we almost got him. And okay, he... Uh, okay, yep, dangerous. That really escalated. It went from so easy to super hard, but we killed the crab. Uh, he managed to stab himself in the head with his own knife. So I applaud that. That's pretty impressive in itself. And for our effort, we got the same gun we've had the entire time. Which brings us to a new area. We're fighting birds now. Birds are everyone's mortal enemy. They're not particularly dangerous. I'm going to go back to use my AK for a sec, though. Maybe this would be a better gun. Yeah, I kind of like that range a lot. I wouldn't say no to a rarer gun uh, that does more damage, but I do like how I can hit enemies from way over here. Because I don't want to have to walk anywhere. We got cookies. Okay, there's another star. We definitely want that. Uh, I need to remember that the sniper though does have pretty limited ammo and if we're going to be fighting these guys we're going to need to conserve ammo because we don't need to waste sniper bullets on that moron. He can hardly move. You just got to keep moving, keep circling and stay calm. Pretty sure he can't shoot through this wall thing so if I just kite him around I can just slowly murder him. Okay and then he summons his brother to try and pick up the slack. But that's okay. I've got nothing but time to deal with this. Then we're going to get a power for this so it's worth the time it's going to take. Because we got all of this stuff. Immunity to explosions is uh, interesting. Become sticky and leave a trail of goo. That's interesting because it's blue. We're going to uh, try for better. I don't really like any of these. That makes me faster. We don't need more max ammo, I think. We're just going to take a bag that contains things. So we're going to open that up and we're rich. We actually are getting kind of rich. The money's adding up. So we just need to actually make it to a shop. Uh, I feel like this level is going to be a touch harder. I got caught on the wall. Okay, we need to kill the baby alligator. Okay, I feel better. Once the baby alligators are out of the way, it gets easy. 
Wait, one of the idiots is done. I've turned the alligator into shoes by now. Okay, we're going to switch weapons for a sec just so we can uh, take care of these a little more efficiently. And then once we're left with a singular dumb raccoon, we can then murder him like that. Uh, the sniper's still got enough ammo. We're going to go for more money again. I'm really hoping that by the time... I uh, didn't mean to shoot the sniper at that. That was a waste of a bullet. Okay, we had several wastes of bullets. But I'm hoping by the, by the time we get to a shop, there's more guns that are better to find, like rarer. Oh, that's a new alligator thing. He can jump a long ways, but in all the wrong directions, it seems. Yeah, you're getting closer. Keep at it. You'll get me eventually. I believe in you. Well, as amusing as that was, uh, I think I'm just about out of sniper ammo. So we'll do our best to deal with all these. That's a bad spot to be. We're going to circle around. Got to take out all the little guys. Even just a basic multi-shot or something would do wonders for me. I need more damage. This is too slow. Whoops. Well, I got hit right as my power regenerated, so at least I put my health back. We're going to the store. Well, there's a few things here. There's a sniper. Uh, I might actually try the carbine because the sniper is out of bullets anyway, but there's also heavy duty boots. I can afford them. I don't know what they do. I'm so amazingly good at this that I accidentally walked into the wrong door. I didn't mean to walk into this room, but that should be fine. It won't be hard. We just won't really get a great reward for it. I'm using the carbine also because I figured it'd just be a little better. We find so many guns anyway, you might as well just use the better guns. Everything in this game drops a gun. Everything. Even this floppy moron. A katana? That's not even a gun. Another katana? Get your drops right. On to the next room full of treasures and upgrades. At least I hope they are. Uh, I don't know what happened to that guy, but there was a really big explosion and he died. Didn't realize there was already a boss fight again. Luckily I have 34 bullets in my whatever. But we appear to be fighting a cheetah. Hello kitty. Okay, this is already a little bit stressful because I have no idea what this thing's about to do. Okay, it's going to fire that way it looks like. We're going to hop that way and then we're going to hop that way. So far I'm outsmarting the Hello Kitty. I'm back to my AK-47 though, so hopefully at some point it drops me a better gun. It, uh, the thing that didn't work the first time, it wants to do that again. This gun is so weak in comparison, I need a better one. Okay, I see what you're going for here. I'm going to, uh, yeah, to try and keep a bit of a distance from everything. It's much easier if you wait out here to dodge things. I'm really glad I don't have a shotgun, because this would be really, really hard to do. Okay, that was close. I almost rolled into one there. Things are okay. Just gotta keep rolling. I accidentally rolled into the laser there. I do have my power though, actually, so I went ahead and get, uh, got some health back. I didn't realize he's making the thing smaller and smaller this whole time. No wonder it's feeling harder and harder to do this. Okay, well, at least this one I know I can kind of bait them out like that, and then I can just roll away from them all. So that actually makes it a little bit easier. This is kind of a bad spot to be in. They actually fire slower suddenly. So if I just kind of go like this and bait their shots into the wrong spots, good. I'm just saying the other boss gave me a better gun and that made it a lot easier. So I don't need a gun now so much. I kind of need one during that fight. And then we get to find out what the next zone offers us. And it seems like there's going to be a lot more things to fight. Well, there's definitely a lot of bullets coming our way. So it's just going to get more stressful. A mystery room. It's going to get very chaotic and bullety, so just uh, kill things as quick as you can. Keep circling, do big circles. Is that a penguin? I think I see a giant flying penguin. I'm not mad about it. I just wasn't sure what I was seeing. Are you up there? Are you an enemy? What are you? Uh, whether or not it was an enemy, I killed it. It's kind of a shoot first and ask questions later type situation. I think between these, I'm going to take the food because I think the food heals me. I did use my power to put a little bit of health back, but I literally just lost it. Okay, we have a swirling moron. You, yeah, just live your best life. I guess I've got time for this. Okay, now they're bringing in the uh, real enemies. And I kind of missed my other gun already. Really hope I get some good food after this. That was close. Morons are dead. Please have some heals. Those weren't heals at all. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to do, um, I don't know, a gun room. Not sure what this is. Some kind of bird. Uh, oh, it's dead. Uh, also the flying penguin. Oh, the flying penguin drops the bombs. That makes perfect sense. That was a really, really tough situation, but I managed to weasel my way out of that. That was really, really close to dying. Uh, this is also going to get annoying because these guys' bullets actually travel pretty fast, so they get hard to dodge if they get close to you. This guy is actually kind of predictable. The flying penguin, though, not so much. Come on, I need my better gun. Oh, is my power done? Not quite. Okay, uh, katana. I am not using that. I cannot get that close to enemies. This uh, is not going to be fun. Okay, I see what's happening already and this uh, is going to be rough. Because I've got to deal with him and I might have to weave him between his stuff. Okay, we're just going to go like that. And you can't touch him either. In hindsight, that was obvious. 
back here at home base. Here's my uh, little weirdos that I'm raising. This one I think I have to um, take care of or something. This one I definitely have to because it's a baby. And I'm known for my nurturing ways. There you go. Go ahead and eat some purple goo. Sir, I will give you this baby creature in exchange for a better gun. Can we make a deal? We've also unlocked a sharpener. Bullets can pierce through enemies. That would be a big one. Now we got it all figured out, so we're going to make this look easy. I'm also using the tactic gun I picked up. Uh, it's actually really fast shooting and far range. I don't mind this at all. And I'm pretty sure this is going to give me an extra piece of health in the upper left, so we have one more HP that we can lose. Not that we're planning on getting hit. I'm going to do a completely hitless run all the way to the end. That looks like a decent sized chest. Okay, it gave me a bunch of leaves. Uh, this one will be a power up though. We're fighting frogs with boomerangs now. They also hop around. That's going to get really annoying to keep track of everything going on. So we're just going to do our best to stay away from everything and shoot it from a distance like the cowards we are. Got this one taken care of. That's a nice looking chest. I don't know if I like any of these. Can we have something better? Increase your health by two. That's great, actually. That should put a six full health. I can go through six health very quickly in this game. Oh good, we have crabs now. Well, uh, how many crabs are there? What? What? What is this? What? So yeah, speaking of six health, we're going to go through these in a moment because the crabs are multiplying. Okay, that's like a baby crab. Oh, perfect. Sniper rifle. Where are you, crab? Actually, I guess I don't need to waste my bullets. Maybe on these guys I do, though. Okay, we're going to go back to using a sniper. We're going to go back to where we're safe over here-ish. I just know that over here the crabs can't really get to us, but we can certainly shoot them, especially if they're stunned. The crab itself dropped a gun. Oh, another wave. Okay, good. This is just the gift that keeps on giving. Managed to kill most things so far. The raccoons are a little annoying if you get too far away because their bullets spread out. But they are particularly susceptible to high velocity bullets. That's a fancy looking chest. Please have something good. Increase your damage by 40% but decreases accuracy. Yes, I don't need accuracy. Not at all. And I'm going to use my pew pewer anyway because the sniper is running low on bullets. Before even starting this fight, I'm going to try and heal up real quick. Because I can. Okay, our damage should be much, much higher now. And it already feels like it is. We're not going to get caught in this corner. And we took a hit anyway because we're dumb. It's a rather unforgiving game. One little mistake will cost you lots of HP. Going to hide up here for a sec. Then we're going to unload on them. Then we're going to go back up here and hide. And we're going to pop out and shoot them. Cool, a bunch of swords. Uh, maybe I'm going to go back to my sniper rifle. Pretty sure that's a store. We can't really afford anything. That's money. I don't remember what this is. And if I can't remember, it's got to be good. I would I think the sniper rifle is going to be one-shotting a lot of things. I mean, it already was, but with the extra damage. Uh, okay, that was really dangerous for everyone involved. I gotta find a gun that's a good happy medium of everything. Some guns are good some places, some are good other places, and, uh, well, I'm just terrible at the game. That's really the only takeaway here. Okay, good, I got 16 bullets left and we're about to fight the boss. I guess on the other hand, I do have a 40% damage increase over last time, plus a bunch of health. And I already forgot what he does, like his attack patterns and stuff. Can I shoot him yet? I love how this stage is in the boss where I can't actually shoot him, so I need to wait. Wow, we're doing tons of damage, actually. Gonna take a moment to... Did I heal there? Okay, I gotta heal properly so that can, can start regenerating. That one's easy to dodge. We only have a few sniper bullets left, so we just get them over with. Okay, I did manage to miss with one of those. This should actually give me a new gun, though. I picked up the sawed off. Did not mean to pick that up. So once he gets out from under shield, I think I'll be able to do big damage with this gun. Okay, we're going back to the sawed off then, just so we can do some big damage to him for fun. I gotta get close to him, but whatever. Oh yeah, the bouncing swords that are a nightmare. The shotgun does more damage, but I can't get that close. It's way too dangerous. He's almost dead. Okay, we're going back to the, for this one for this, just cause got him. I'm going back to the carbine. Can I have like a blue tier gun or something? A bunch of diamonds and the same gun I was already using. My healing power did come back though, so there's always that. And we get this guy's fish. Then it's back to fighting birds, which naturally put up a little resistance. We're going to get a power up. I really hope it's damage. I just want every power up to be damaged now. We don't need anything else. Pure, pure damage. This room was strangely easy. Increase your damage by 10%. So we have a 50% damage increase. Uh, I don't know what just blew up, but I was involved in it. It definitely feels like a 50% damage increase. We are hitting awfully hard. Okay, we really need to start up getting hit. Piercing bullets would also be great at times like this. Okay, that was three hits in one single room. This is getting embarrassing. To be fair, this isn't the easiest of rooms. We've never even seen a skunk before. I didn't even know those existed in this. And there's also a vulture that throws big bones. Okay, we're going to try and take out the vulture thing because it's going to be more annoying than the floppy idiot. These guys can actually lunge a long ways when they want to. I need to also still remember that I can roll like as much as I want, so just keep rolling. 
I can also put a little bit of health back, which feels good. And that's definitely the kind of chest I'm looking for. Do I want a trail of fire? Saps enemies when they get close. Maybe that's actually better, because it might actually kill them as they get close. I don't know how close I have to get to get zapped. I usually try and keep them away, but we didn't really have a lot of super fun options there anyway. My zapper did go off once. It makes like a big zapping ring around me, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I just don't know how often it's going to go off or how bad it's going to hurt them. Uh, this room is already a bit of a nightmare, but I think if I can just kite them around in a big old circle, I'll be okay. I uh, didn't even see that thing, but I don't think that actually hit me. I can see how this lack of accuracy thing is maybe working a little bit against me. We have more damage, but we're also not really hitting much of anything unless we're close. That room was really annoying, so you know what? I'll actually take this gun. I do enjoy this gun. With the added damage and everything, it should actually be really good, because I can shoot it quite quickly, and we're going to move out of this area very quick. The electrical uh, power thing actually works pretty good in some situations. Like the enemies that lunge toward me get zapped and die before they touch me. And this gun's hitting very hard. We're melting enemies with this gun. We made it to the shop and I can actually just buy the chili. I'm pretty sure we leave a trail of fire now anyway. And we can actually reload our tactic gun. So we got plenty of power ups to work with now. Because now anything that wants to follow us has to go through a trail of fire and that's gotta hurt. That's it. Get close to me. Jump into my fire and electrocution. Okay, this should go a lot quicker than last time because we'll do a lot more damage. It seems so easy at first now that I have all this room to work with. Like we've already got it so far down in health too. We just keep shooting and shooting and shooting. This gun's got a decent range on it too. Like I can be way over here and still hitting it. And the boss is nice and wide so we really hit it with most of our shots even if they're super inaccurate. This one you gotta really wait because you'll roll back into the other laser if you don't. Okay, I definitely just got hit there because I was being stupid. Uh, story of my life. But we'll have this thing defeated very quickly, even though we're back to our AK-47 only. I think I screwed up the recording there, not sure for how long. Anyways, the boss is dead. Wasn't that hard. Off we go. Of all the guns it could have gave me, it was a sawed-off shotgun. So we have a very inaccurate sawed-off shotgun fighting some really dangerous morons up close. But you know what? Maybe this will actually work better for us somehow. Okay, we got another big spinny guy, which uh, is a little bit rough considering look what we're using for guns. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to use long range against these guys. I don't know if I can stand in their chain range or not. I know I probably can't get touched by the pink part of them, and I definitely can't touch them as we learned. For these little guys, the shotguns definitely can work, especially if I peek out from around the corner a little bit, because as soon as they step out, they're in trouble. If I get close to them with a sawed off, they really get in trouble. I'm taking a sniper though. Oh, okay, I probably shouldn't have done that from that far away. But the sniper is still nice and accurate, even with the, uh accuracy well as i say that some of those shots do go a little crazy but we got another big chest trail of goo could be interesting because that might combine with the fire so we have a goo fire that slows them down bullets can pierce their enemy oh wait oh fire rate increased by 60 but damage decreases by 30. no we're gonna take bullets can pierce through enemies oh good it's this nightmare of a room don't i have piercing bullets where's the pierce uh, i'm also in trouble because i'm in this room again and it's got the big guy who i don't really know how to avoid and i'm panicking now so we're missing all of our shots Okay, we're gonna walk inside his chain and go over here. Okay, at least bought myself a second. I'm pretty sure I did get hit though while I was in, in his thing. Okay, he's dead, but here comes another one. So we're gonna try and kill him before anything. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to kill the bird. Okay, just start shooting him. Get him in the fire. Okay, yeah, I think we'll get him. Oh, never mind. He touched us because I wasn't paying attention. Well, you can't win them all. 